for the beginner, what chord should you learn? Uh, the easy chords, right? The open E so you can tune to that. G. Open G. C. And the D. Then what about the F chord? The F is a barre chord. So it's going to... Um, it's an op- E chord. You hold the E chord like this. But, with, with, but instead of using your first, second, and third fingers, you use your second, third, and fourth fingers. And then you simply move up. The first finger is called a capo. This is a movable design. Okay? Uh, that's a uh, barre chord. Here's a C chord. And C barre chords. Remember, it moves up grammatically. Here's a D. Instead of holding it like this, hold it like this. Move it up. It's a movable chord. You know what I mean? So, so that's what I said. The G chord. What about the G? Oh, here's a G. You hold it like this. It goes up to the second string. The first string is dead. G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, and so forth. Okay, so what about strumming now? But uh, when you're strumming, you're dealing with time. Time, we're dealing with meter, which is the count, and then we have iambic pentameter, which is the actual rhythm that you're playing. Like, my name is Mike Barquez. That's the iambic pentameter for what I just said. Hi. Hello. Not hello, it's hello. So that's basic rhythm, this linguistics. Um, when you're dealing with meter, we're dealing with uh, the count of one, two, three, four, one. The, strong, the, the one is the strongest beat metrically. One. So that is to be kept solid. And you do use this by using what my, my, my teacher tells me to do, is to use a metronome. And so you put in the metronome, not too fast, and then you just pass it in the one. Too. And also, when you're listening to music and you hear somebody singing, play, tap, try to tap where the one is. One. When you watch the Ronettes and all of the, the the Motown people, they're always moving and dancing, right? But the dancing too is the one, the three, and the four. They're not acting, ladies and gentlemen. They're feeling the one, two, three, or they're feeling the two and the, the four. Here's, here's one, two, three, four, one, two. That's the one. One, two. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four, one, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, two, four, one. Four one, so I'm doing everything in four bar phrasing, because songs are written in four bar phrasing. In other words, four bars, four bars, four bars, four bars. Okay, moving on. So now that um, I got that, so what about strumming? We got this from Carlos Montoya, ladies and gentlemen. Thumb. This is the thumb. First finger, second, third, fourth. Pulgar, indicio, medio, angular, and the small finger. So this one here, go in the back of the guitar like this. Well, one cool. Key chord. Okay. Oh, you can strum with your thumb. Okay, you can go thumb, first finger, up. Then we have a back beat up. Now when you're doing reggae, you go to the high, t- high notes, use your first finger. Like. Pentameter, then pentameter. Yeah, so we're dealing with timing. Meter, which is the count, iambic pentameter, which is the actual rhythm against the 
the, the timing or the big one is one, two, three, four, one. That's the strongest beat metrically. And you want to you want to keep that um, constant. <coughs> okay, some uh, um, some it is understood. Some people rush, right? Okay. So when people rush, that's why um, they, they get fired sometimes. You know, sometimes you just got to wait till they get better and then they can, you know, get the, be the right group. And some people, they rush at the end and the famous people, they do that all the time. But when I went to this code, I had to fine tune. Tune into a, um, a triad. Uh, the triad is one three five C E G. Um, basically, you know, uh, as you get on in the studies, then you get more into the the, the rhetoric of uh, the linguistics of music language. Okay, so um, I'm, ju I'm just going. Um, so now I'm going back over here. Remember, I told you I had problems with string slippage. One of my teachers, Philip Jimenez, father of Louis Akau, we used to go watch him at Queen Surfer. Um, when they had the Hawaii Five Out show, the, his group, the Hula Dancers used to, like, used to come on the TV. It was their show. But anyway, when, one day I was with uh, Philip, and he was taking his sweet time tuning up. And I was asking, how come you're taking a long time? I thought you're supposed to just tune up and, and go. No, come to find out. It, um, the, the, we have a problem with string slippage. Just why I did it. When you hold a chord and you tune it up, the other chord might go be out. So that's how it is. You have to um, you have to tune to the right chord. If you're in the key of E, you tune to the E, A, and the B7. If you're in G, you tune to G, C, and D. If you're in the, if you're in the key of C, you tune, tune to C, F, and G. In other words, it's the one, the tonic, the four is the subdominant, and the five is the dominant. I know I'm giving you some um, other information using this uh, rhetoric here. But that's what I'm telling you is that which I've learned after many years of uh, taking lessons, you know, and, and it goes on and on. I am a pentameter, you know, four bar phasing, I got that from UH, University of Hawaii. Yeah, and, um, and um, you know, this perfect pitch, core muscles, um, there's auditory data and uh, kinesthetic uh, mindsets, tool sets, and skill sets with core muscles and active joints. Breathing is a concern too, and posture, the way that you sit, all of that um, plays a part of your performance. And um, for the type of music you want to play, um, for you to do this steel guitar, of which I love to play, then we use a lot of vibrato, yeah, and use the steel. Okay, when you play blues, I started off with rock and roll with uh, the Beatles. Um, I started off with them, and then and then we got the blues players. Um, yeah, a lot of the blues players. Uh, J Jimi Hendrix. I love uh, my wife and I. We went to the blues, blues Hall and we we're watching perform. That was before my son was born. My daughter was born. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, yeah, um, and we got the blues players, BB King, and all those people. Um, so in the jazz, uh, in the blues genre, they call the, the, the call those people cats. He's a top cat, you know. Um, that's a language. And, um, you know, just as, as we go, you know, um, the language is real interesting, the linguistics for music. You know, um, virtuosity. Virtuosity, genius, imagination, talent, versatility. In a way, it's important to be versatile. So, um, you can, like I said, nothing is impossible. You learn the Hawaiian music, which is uh, Himeni Meli. Basically, it's church songs when the missionaries came here, right? The, the cowboys that came here, what, what happened is um, King Kamehameha put a, uh, a band on the cows that was given to the people here. 
uh, as a gift. You know, Boris came in from France, Carol came in from uh, UH, and I mean from the United States. Well, anyway, the cow started eating up the forested area, so they brought in the mascaros, mascaros. and then the mascaros brought in the guitar, Portuguese brought in the ukulele. You know, and then that's how it, it started, you know, leaving these instruments. And what happened is, uh, when they first got it here, they didn't know how to tune it up, right? So the tuning, the uh, Kanaka Maoli, they're so ingenious. Yeah, the Kanaka Maoli. Uh, they, they tuned it to, um, they tuned it to um, Kihualu. Yeah, the farmers and then the Lavayas, you know, the fishermen, uh, and then the musicians, you know. So I think it goes on and on from there. Um, the ukuleles, um, I, I really thank God for Kamaka, Kamaka ukulele. Um, and, the, and the steel guitar, I took lessons from Jerry Bird at Harry's Music with Clay Yoshioka when he was over there. Uh, I really love the steel. When we went to Canada, I heard a lot of that steel, man. It's always been with me. Um, okay, so now, now that we got this, Remember what I told you, keep going out of tune. Huh? Okay. When you use your, your, your thumb, do it soft like that. I uh, got that from uh, Keolo Beamer. Nahi Nahi. Very beautiful. Also got that from Bobby Santos when he was alive. He told me, Mike, how come? We're doing a lot of gigs all over the place. We're getting paid. We're doing Hawaiian music. And how come? You know, how come you play like the way you play? And I like you play like what? Play Hawaiian music like the Hawaiians. I said, so what, what do you mean? I don't understand. When he passed away, I went to his funeral. That's when I understand what he's talking about. The ukulele player was playing his song, Nahi Nahi. It wasn't loud, but was really beautiful. And the vocals came right out of, right over there. Nahi Nahi, pretty. Like Kelo Bima said, sweet like a mango. You know, not like. No, we're not doing funk. No, not like that. You know what I mean? Country. There's a one, five. There's one you get the one in five, a movie base. I got this from um, Cecilio. I'd like to thank Capono for doing that first annual Honolulu Guitar Festival. Capono sang, he, he did beautiful music. It's a privilege having him there, ladies and gentlemen. But it was sanctioned by Eileen Anderson and Mayor Governor Ariyoshi. Anyway, when, when I met with uh, Cecilio now, and I talked to him about um, even Danny Kalikini, I got to meet them, and I talked to them about the music. Nani Lee is the one that got me. I had a, a conversation with her. We got what am what am I to do? I met her, with her at the Byron Byron Driving in uh, Kali. Because um, I I was married, have two children, Angelo and Lynn, and then I was working full time, Lono Incorporated, driving the van, and I was playing music for the Jack, Jack Salon on Sand Island. And so I'm thinking to myself, as we got into more playing every night, then I started getting tired. So I asked Nani, what should I do? You know. So I got, to, it's a privilege meeting her. She met me over at the Myron's and we talked. And because of her, I, I got into the Guitar Institute of Hawaii. I, I went to uh, take lessons and I went to uh, Los Angeles. I studied at the Guitar Institute of Technology with Howard Roberts, Jody Ario, Mondel Lowe, Don Mock, Brian Ashton, Larry Carlton. You know, um, and the story goes on, you know, Joe Pass. So, now that we got that, see how it works? So 
we have a problem with shrink slippage? Um, because of the neck, everybody's neck is different, yeah? So as it goes up um, the neck, then it becomes um, a concern. So um, all of those are considerations. Uh, in today's uh, tutorial, I'm moving on with the guitar because I told you I haven't played for two months. And um, it's a privilege doing this. So anyway, now let's move on. Okay, from the, the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One is Ionian. Two, Dorian. E is Phry uh, Phrygian. F is Lydian. Five is Mixolydian. Six is Aeolian. Seven is Locrian. And back to C again. So God created seven days a week, right? So the, the major scale is seven tone scale, eight with the octave. Okay? So, um, starting with the E, uh, I'm going to use my thumb and first finger, everybody. Sit this way, watch this now. Combination of thumb and this is the Ionian mode starting on E in key of C, F Lydian. So I did the E, the E. Um, e Frigid F Lydian. G Mixolydian. A A Olin. A A Olin. I'm alternating my thumb and first finger. B. B low grid. C Ionian Then a D D Dorian And then we're starting all over again. Remember I started in E Fidget, yes, E Fidget. Lydian once again. F. The G makes a Lydian. Okay, yeah, so basically. And it goes to G sharp. I hope. Here's an Aeolian. Aeolian. Okay, now, um, the, we're in the key of C. Okay, the E Phrygian is E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. The F Lydian, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. G Mixolydian, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The uh, Aeolian, A Aeolian, A B C D E F G A, A B C D E F G A, the B Locrian, B C D E F G A, B C D E F G A, B C Ionian, C D E F G A, B C, C D E F G A, B C, D Dorian, D E F G A, B C D E F G A, D, and then and so on and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we were in the key of C, okay, and from from there we have what is called. Look at this. We got triads, major triads, one, two, five, one, three, five, C, E, G, minor triads, D, F, A, E, G, B, F, A, C, G, B, D, A, C, E, B, D, F, B, C, E, G. So then we have um, your, um, yeah. as a matter of fact, I learned uh, what I just gave you, I learned that from um, Doug McDonald. Okay, now oh, this one here we have what it's called. 
um, your, your triads, yeah? So here's your triads, watch. Arpeggios. Minor. Seven. Mm -hmm. I just did for Mr. William Valdez, and then we have to diminish. And then we have this augmented. And it goes on and on. And then we have what is called. Inversions. Okay, so up. C. C. C beach. High density, we have medium high, we have medium density, we have a medium low density, and we have low density. One three five. So why do, why do you want, why am I telling you this? Because we use this one you improvise. Remember, um, like I said, loop one thirty seven for that nothing is impossible. So when you first learning to play the guitar, you want to uh, perform with the beautiful hula dancers that we have here in the islands. Yeah, you know, to do that, you want to um, learn the Hawaiian music so you can get paid, learn the Hawaiian songs, and travel. And like I said, a lot of the traveling I did was with the hula halau. Um, because when you go to promote um, music in Canada, in Los Angeles, in Hollywood, um, you name it, it's all over the world. There's in Tahiti, Samoa. Okay, so um, the, the list goes on. Once you get that, the, today's lesson is, I'm just, I told you I haven't been playing for almost two months. So I just picked up the guitar today, so I'm showing you what, what I'm doing with the, uh, what is this called? Pitch, yeah, it's a master key uh, tuner. And then the guitar, and then I started off with uh, the names of the guitar strings. This is reiteration, re re reiterate. E, A, D, G, B, E. When you're holding the strings like this, come down like this, it rests on the next string. So you hear only one string, not two. You hit the, you go like that, then you hear a blending of the strings. That's, you know what I mean? So just just hear that. E, e A D G B E. Every animal does good before eating. When you wrap the strings over here, wrap, be sure it runs over itself so it doesn't come loose on, on you. Also, over here too, likewise, the way that you, you lock it up is very important. Okay, how you hold the, the, the guitars are very important too. So, um, let's move it on. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this. Wawanko. I'm hitting the two and four. 